This is Bruce Bobeth, Managing Editor of Offshore Magazine, here to talk about the top five electrification trends in the offshore oil and gas industry. Electrification is being driven by four basic imperatives, lower emissions, reduced topside footprint, reduced environmental impact, and lower costs. Electrification is taking place in five key areas. They are power from shore, all electric subsea, topsides compression, power from wind, and power buoys. Equinor is the clear leader in offshore electrification, but other major international companies are moving forward too. Equinor's Utsira High Area Solution calls for connecting several of its North Sea fields to power from shore. The Jans IO compression project off Western Australia will include electrical control systems and electrical actuators. Equinor says that two gas export compressors on its Troll C platform, currently driven by gas turbines, will be replaced by electric motors. Offshore wind energy will supply power to Equinor's Gulfax and Snore fields through its high wind tamping project in the North Sea. ENI has been using OPT's Powerboy to charge AUVs and provide power to unmanned platforms through the use of wave energy. To recap, the top five offshore electrification trends are power from shore, all electric subsea, topsides compression and power, wind energy, and power buoys. For all the latest news on electrification and other offshore technologies, please go to www.offshore-mag.com.